Welcome to another Star Wars Miniatures X-Wing game uh, from Fox Squadron. <laughs> um, so yeah, today we will be flying another variant of the five TIE Interceptors, which is a uh, Shadow Wing, I guess you could say. Our list includes a sab three Saber Squadron Aces. This time it's Foxy, Nips, and Pew Pew flying alongside Nash Windrider and Sienna Reed, the love of his life that refused him, I'm joking. I mean, she did refuse his proposal though. Uh, so Nash's ability, for those of you that don't know, during the engagement phase, after a friendly small ship at range 0-3 is destroyed, if that ship has not engaged his phase, you may spin one charge. If you do, that ship engages at the current initiative. Very powerfully, it's one charge with a recharge, so he uses this once every round. Um, and then Sienna Reed's pilot ability, for those that don't know, after you perform an attack, if the defender was destroyed, gain one stress token. After a friendly ship at range 0 to 3 is destroyed, remove one stress token. So, rubber band effect. Um, easy way to get around it is for scenery to weaken the opponent, and then for another interceptor to finish a kill, or just another ship in general. And the card that all these tie interceptors have that scenery is proxying is disciplined. After another friendly ship at range 0 to 3 is destroyed, if that ship is limited or has a disciplined upgrade, it may, it may perform, you may perform a target lock or barrel action. So basically, if one of my guys dies, target locks or barrel rolls, which chains well with the auto thrusters. After you perform an action, you perform a red barrel roll or boost action. So very uh, powerful. This is obviously Sienna Re in the art. That might be Nash Rider, but we do not know. And my list is a 4-4-4 initiative with a 2 and a 6. So very cool. Over for the Empire, we have Shadow Wing 2 with a bunch of bombers and a couple of aggressors and a TIE Punisher. Both the bombers are Scimitar Squadron pilots, each of them with an initiative of two, and Sprinkles, Biscuits are their names. Each of them with Proton Bombs and Barrage Rockets. So Proton Bombs being a bomb that does a critical damage when it goes off, and Barrage Rockets being a three dice, two range two to three attack that requires a focus. And that can be used five times. Or you can spend charges to get rerolls if, it's, if the opponent's in your bullseye. And this guy, the Cutlass Squadron Pilot with Initiative 2, has Trajectory Simulator, which means he can five forward throw his bombs ahead of him. Delayed fuses, so he can put a fuse marker on the device to delay its explosion. Proton Bombs and Barrage Rockets. And then two Center Specialists, Lucky and Glady, which is a knockoff Glaive Squadron Pilot. Each of them with Barrage Rockets, but no turrets. And these Barrage Rockets are being proxy. They have five charges though, so, you know, five shots. So yeah, um, Shadow Wing 2, Shadow Wing 1. Let's see which Shadow Wing wins this game and is better. And the Wing 2 will be the AI for today for the solo alpha rules, because no one still wants to play with me. That's all right though. So I'm giving the AI the initiative since my list is 292 points and there, no, 298, no, 198 points. And their list is 199 or 200. I forgot exactly. But the point is they get the initiative, so they place the first rock. And my Nash Rider moves after they move, which will be powerful for his arc dodging technique. Okay. To their face, I think. Yep. My turn. Uh, let's put it right there. Just box in all their ships. Make sure they can't fly a good formation. AI's asteroid. Perfectly placed. The other debris field for me. AI throws out a debris in anger. There we go. And then let's do another asteroid right there, I think is good. Yeah. Cool. So then all their twos get placed. Um, I guess placement would be however, I think. So let's just see here. Oh, sprinkles fell off. Oh no, he died. Um, I think that they would want to be just kind of adjusting a little bit. So like the Punisher maybe right there. The aggressor, this aggressor right there, I think. And then this aggressor over here, cause then he can do a couple forwards and a bank. A bomber, sprinkles, and then I think biscuits can go over there, I think. A nice little formation, they can all close in, and, or that way, or that way, or whatever. Uh, my wing... 
really hard to choose. I'm kind of want to stay out of this area because that's too good for them. This area seems safer, but it could also not be at the same time, so... Gotta be real careful. Um, so let's see here. Sienna, Nash, and then our Sabres. Okay, so... Nash first. Hmm. Thinking about... Thinking this way. Line this up pretty good. I can't see too good because there's a table right here blocking me. Oh, let me see. I think that will work if he's right there. Just barely, maybe. Nice. Okay. And then, uh, Sienna's not yet. Sabres. Let's do the true saber. Pew pew. And then let's do Foxy. Quite foxy. Um, probably right there would be best. I'm thinking. Yeah. Maybe like this actually, because that way he could do or she. He or she. I don't know. Gender on that one yet. Um. And then I think I know what this Nips would do if he's over here. And then let's put Sienna. Way over here. Which is probably a pretty good idea, not gonna lie. Okay, cool. And then uh, we will determine the AI's attitude and lock our maneuvers. Okay, so my dials are locked and uh, their dials are too with their attitudes. Uh, he's defensive, offensive, offensive, balanced, and defensive way down there. So the Bombers are being more defense and balanced, whereas the lighter ships are being more offensive, which is kind of funny. Um, and they did corresponding maneuvers based off that. So this guy's maneuver was the slowest turn maneuver away from an obstacle, which I guess would be a player trying to like flank that guy, I guess, but let's see here. I'm not exactly sure. I think a one bank is going to fit. I'm just going to check though real quick. Okay. Ooh. That would be really close, so yeah. We were going to do a barrel roll with him anyways, but I figure that's better in this case. Anyways, we're not going to check for his action because, you know, he's obviously going to do the barrel roll. <laughs> kind of needs to at this point. Okay. Next in line, our little offensive buzzer doing the one forward, which I found kind of surprising, but, you know holding position because they have the sniper rockets and they don't want the interceptors to get close and then arc dodge. So I'm pretty sure this guy will just focus. Um, no reason to do a barrel roll and get hit by these asteroids. And uh, maybe you do a barrel roll this way though, but I think that would be better just for him to keep flying that way. And a four forward. Um, it was it's either his slowest advanced maneuver away from its tally, which is that way, so I don't think that kind of works out. And I think a four. Oh, it's close to the asteroid. That's pretty close. And then he'll focus. Okay, and then the Punisher is doing the two forward, the ultra balanced maneuver, and then the ultra balanced action of focus. And will he drop a bomb is the question. He decides that before everyone moves, so he's missed his opportunity. And finally, this time bomber over here, one bank away from the nearest obstacle. Which, again, kind of makes sense. He's trying to make sure Sienna Reed can't get any angle on him. Yeah, and those are all the maneuvers of these ships. And then over to my side of the table, we have a lot of three forwards, I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> Just three forwards though, nothing fancy or anything like that. Now what I really wish is I had target lock to check that range. Um, I guess I can maybe boost, but I'm not too sure. Would a boost help me out though, to be honest? Like I think that's kind of 50-50. Yeah, um, we'll do a boost. Hopefully not be at range three, and uh, well, that might be at range three. Mm. 
This isn't too good if it's at range three of him. And another three forward. Um, not too sure about this one either. <laughs> it's all getting very interesting now. Uh, hmm. Thinking maybe a barrel roll. Actually, I got a master plan coming up ahead. I think like that is good. Yeah. All right, and then these two interceptors. Cause Sienna is the leader of the squad, so she moves last. Okay. That doesn't look too bad of a position right now. I mean, yeah, he'll be fine. He'll just focus. He'll be very fine. Okay, and then Foxy with the three forward. Being very foxy, she will boost forward, I think, is her best maneuver idea. And I'm deciding that it is a she, so. She is foxy. Kind of matches with the name that I've got. Alright, and then Sienna Ray. Doing a three forward as well. There we go. And uh, she will boost, should we do a bank boost, or I think a forward boost is best, uh, let me get this template, there we go, forward boost, nice, okay, and then checking for shot range, no shots there, no surprise though, there is a range 3 exchange fire between Lucky and Nashwin Rider, and no other intercept. I should have focused to a boost instead, then, because I could have ranged three him with three guys. If it's three hits every shot, that might have destroyed him, but maybe not though. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, to the dice. Okay, so Simitar Pilot shooting first with Barrage Rockets, spending the charge because he can, and uh, he will spend that focus for three hits. Nashwin Rider rolling three defense dice with no mod, uh, rolling two of eights, so he takes one damage. And Nash Rider Rider will now shoot back with three attack into the into Lucky. You did get quite lucky there for one hit. Um, <laughs> so not super lucky, I guess, for Nash, but lucky for Lucky though. And then Lucky has three defense for the range bonus. Out rolling the dice, no problem. So Nash takes a damage. The Sinar loses its focus token. And the net worth of that round is a Sinar um, uses a barrage rocket to do damage. So yeah, next round is maneuvers. All right, so attitudes. We have defensive, 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 offensive, and bounced. So yes, there's a lot of defensiveness going on. Uh, let's see, go up, starting with Sprinkles. Going with the one bank. And uh, I think he's gonna focus. Seems like he might have a shot there. Glavy, the knockoff Glaive Squadron pilot. Also wanting banking and focusing. So a player would probably be trying to trap this interceptor in this little pocket of ships. And um, Lucky doing the one bank. Okay, so then uh, he did a one bank. Um, I think he should. Mm. I think a focus. Alright, and the Punisher moving for a blocker position three hard. Oh. Does bump into the little guy. Uh, that's alright, because he's already stressed anyways from the maneuver, so he wouldn't have gotten an action. Um, and then Ty Bomber over here, doing the one bank. Two, let's see. One with a hit and an eyeball. It's balanced, so... I don't 
I guess it would perform focus. Which seems to be the best option anyways, but still, you know, maybe a barrel roll, I guess. If it was a player... Hmm... I'm honestly not too sure. Let's just say the uh, Thai Bomber focuses. Okay, so then Nashwin Rider doing the four straight. I thought a five forward was a little bit too fast, but I didn't realize the Punisher was gonna go there, so. This worked out better than anticipated. Um, so he's got the range one on the Punisher, but he is getting shot by that aggressor. So I think a barrel roll to boost would be the best idea. So barrel roll. To let's see, let's do a bank boost. Oh, illegal! All right, no bank. That didn't go out kind of how I expected. It's not enough to room for two hearts. I'll have to do two hearts that way. Still better than being shot range one again at two hole. <laughs> right, this guy will be getting shot at though with the two bank. Make that obstructed though with a focus to a bank boost. Um, question is, should he boost straight to try to get that guy in range? I don't think he should. I think he should just go for the Punisher. Punish him before he gets punished, right? Okay, well, that's unobstructed, but whatever. It's all good. Okay, and then our other sabers, starting with Nips. Doing a beautiful for forward. This was just right as well. A little bit more forward would have bumped into that asteroid. Um, and there's not really that many arcs on him. Just this one right here and the this guy. But I think a. Let's see. I don't think you could do a boost this way, so I'm going to barrel roll and try to boost that way, but maybe... Oh, it could have worked. Yeah, and then I could have barrel rolled. Huh, that would have been better. Oh, well, let's see if this works. Ooh. Ah, just barely not on the asteroid. Okay. So he's stressed in right there. Not the best flying. I still had a mark with this guy, though. So that's not too bad. Or maybe he is, I don't know, we'll see. And then the uh, five forward with Foxy, which might be just a little bit too far. Full speed ahead! Yep, gets bumped. Just barely. Hmm. Oof. Oh, this isn't looking out to be too good of a round for me. I got maybe a shot on by two people right here, shot right there. Shot right there, and I already got a damage on my guys. Hopefully, Sienna Reed can lead the group to victory with her amazing ability. That uh, she can't do a barrel roll in this scenario because the tie bomber is too close. Would have her do a barrel roll that way to a boost, but she can't. She can't even do a bank boost, so she has to do a straight boost just to avoid that tie bomber. And she'll just do a straight boost, because that should be all she needs to do an arc dodge. Away from that mean old Tide Bomber. There, right there. Okay, cool. So, Sienna can't shoot, but it is my uh, sabers. Let's see here. Let's shoot range one from Foxy into the Glavy. So four dice from Foxy to Glavy, no mod for Foxy. Um, hit crit crit, she does not need that mod to get a good roll in. Glavy only having two defense dice, but rolling two of eight, so Glavy will lose a shield. And then our next shot, let's have it be from Pew Pew into Cutlass at range one. So Pew Pew with the four. Um, crit hit, uh, I think saving the focus is best because we do have a barrage rocket coming in with three dice, so. You just save that defense. Cutlass has a one defense die. 
taking two shields off of Cutlass, so not bad. Um, then our other saber right here, Nips. Let me set this down, okay. So he either has a range one into that tie aggressor, well, which I think he'll take. He can either take the range one into the tie aggressor or the range one into the, or the range two into the cutlass. Hmm. I think the range one might be better just because it's more dice. Um, it might make that uh, what's it, lucky to spin her focus that way. My interceptor has a better chance of surviving. Uh, one hit, so <laughs> not sure. Should roll and evade. No, oh, okay, so lucky loses a shield. Alright. Which would have probably been average, anyways. The interceptor should have rolled two, so it all works out. Alright, so the Nashman Rider at range. Ooh, this could be range three. Let's see here. Looking at. Oh, knocking him out of range two. Uh, I think we're looking at a range three shot at the TIE Bomber pilot. And it doesn't look obstructed. Yeah, it looks unobstructed. Nice. Okay. So, three dice to three dice. Focus. Anyway, no focus to no focus. And the other hostile twos would be shooting first, but their shots don't really make... Well, I mean, they could... Killing it. Well, he's stressed, so we won't be able to take target off, anyways. Okay, so hit crit. The bomber rolling three defense. Um, it's all evenly matched. The bomber takes a crit, which is blinded pilot. You can only, while you perform an attack, you can only modify your dice by spinning force for the default effect. And that's going on biscuits, which is an ouch crit to have, especially for a bomber that only wants to reload or focus. Alright, so then uh, next shots, let's start with the Rocket Sinar at range 2. So let's see, Lucky is spinning a charge to use Barrage Rockets onto Pew Pew. Lucky getting a hit, and Pew Pew could have spent the focus earlier, <laughs> but you never know though, right? Okay, so then Cutlass at range two of Nips over there, I think. Yeah, range two, looks like. No mod Cutlass. With the crit and the hit. Um, <laughs> no mod Nips. Wishing he had a focus token. <laughs> Oof, alright. Nips taking that hit and that crit, so hit. And then crit. Console fire. So the next time Nips engages, he's gonna roll an attack die and maybe just blow up if he's not getting shot at again this round. So hopefully he's not, because that would kind of suck. Let's check this time. Bombers arc. None on Nips. So no shots for him. And then uh, this list is gonna be the last shot. Looks like a range one from Glady to Foxy. Hopefully Foxy can pull out a dodgy. Uh, yeah, Glady is definitely going to focus. I don't think the AI would pass that up. And Foxy is definitely going to blow up. Three damage. Let's see, let me angle up the camera. There we go. Okay. One, two, three. Foxy is dead. Um, and none of my interceptors get a target lock because they're either out of range or they're stressed. So, didn't manage that ability well. <laughs> Alright, Shadowing 2 has 1 kill and Shadowing 1 has 0 kills. So, back to dials. Okay, starting with AI. Um, this time Bomber doing the 2 hard maneuver. Uh, needing to do a barrel roll. I think it would probably do a barrel roll this way. For sure. And I think it maybe pull all the way back because the interceptor's out one hole, so it probably wants to shoot it. Um, and then probably stress that for a target lock. I think. And definitely within range three there. This Sinar doing a three hard. 
Don't ask why, that's just what the AI want to do, right? It does block this direction, though, for the one interceptor, so. Um, probably, honestly, just going to focus, I think. There's really not much else he can do. Well, he could do a barrel roll. And then next round do a bank. Which would probably be what the AI chose to do, because he's kind of being a bit offensively defensive, I guess you could say. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be closer than he thought. Alright, well, too bad. AI made a mistake. Got it on camera. <laughs> Alright. And then uh, stress for an evade, because I think that's what defensive AI would do. And now uh, this aggressor is going to do a two hard. The other option was a 4k turn on debris, and I thought that was a bad idea. Uh, no barrel roll options, and focus is what's going to trigger his missile, so that's what the AI is going to want to do. And the, uh, this guy. Oh, this guy was also going to drop a bomb, too, I think. Because there's people at range one behind him. And it's just the best idea, period. Okay, so now he does his one forward. And this guy is offensive. Everyone's offensive this turn besides this defensive tie aggressor. That probably should have been rolled the other way, but that's okay. Um, probably gonna focus because that triggers his missile. Okay, and then this tie bomber doing the fastest advanced maneuver away from its target. Towards away from, actually. So, like, yeah, 5k turn. Makes it go towards next round, but it's away from it. I think is what they mean. Um, but yeah. And then he's stressed. Okay, so then uh, my tie interceptor is starting with Nash. He's gonna do the two hard. Oh, dang. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see here. Probably do, let's see, so if this interceptor clears maneuver-wise, that'll be good for him. But if he doesn't, then he's dead, and I'm thinking he's not going to clear, so I think Nash will just focus. Er, yeah, well, this guy actually has a mark, so we should actually do the boost first. I was thinking he could focus and then do the boost later, but it seems to be a better idea to do it now. I don't know if the, the thing that does put him in range, and range of this guy as well, but he already did a boost first, so I don't think he needs to do a bear roll necessarily. Yeah. I think he's good over there. Uh, this saber probably dead. <laughs> Two bank. Yes, very dead. Yeah, bumps does not get the opportunity to flip over console fire, uh, but even if he survives that, he's gonna get a ranged one. By two separate guys. The only chance is him getting a shot off. Right. Two blue hard. Um, bomb is gonna go off, but I think he can barrel roll to escape its range. He can definitely boost, but he's gonna be in the bomber's fire if he does that, so. Do a barrel roll. Um, after focusing. Sorry, I forgot to call that. That's okay, though. It's a flying game. It's not turn, but it doesn't matter. All right, um, and then I think a three hard for Sienna. I thought that was the best call, but I forgot about this range three sniper tie aggressor, so. Um, well, she can do a barrel roll to escape that range. So I think she'll do that, because that seems like the best idea. My interceptors are getting toasted. I'm about to lose another one this round. It's turning from a 5v5 to a 4v5, and now it's going to be a 3v5. <laughs> well, that's all the maneuvers. Uh, that's my dial, that's my dial. It's their dial. That's their dial. And then these are my dials. And then isn't there... No, no, no. This is their dial, these are my dials. Okay. Okay, so bomb is going to go off. These stress tokens are gone. Um, so he takes a crit. And that crit is 
disabled power regulator, which this time we will remember to use because I have ion tokens. I'll just hand that to him now because he is going to engage um, no matter what he decides to do or not. He, you engage even if you can't have a viable target shot. So He'll be going one forward next round. And that was a bomb from this guy. Oh, in hindsight, he probably should have dropped a bomb too. Not gonna lie. Let's see, 5k turn. Yeah, Sienna would have taken something, but we forgot to drop a bomb for the AI there, so. Just have to skip it. Alright, well, let's get to the dice. So we're gonna engage with Console Fire Guy first, rolling the attack die, determine if he even gets to shoot. He does, alright. So that'll be my first shot, because that's pretty easy to choose. Um, range 1 into Sprinkles, because that's the only shot. He's bumped into the Tigressor, and he does not have a side turret up to shoot the Punisher. Um, he gets a grand total of 1 hit. Sprinkles. Blanking out, so taking a damage. That's about average. Okay. So just about all their ships are damaged, with at least 1 damage on them, or 1 shield gun, or something like that, which is good. All right, our next Saber Squadron pilot shooting at range two into Biscuits, who has blinded pilot, so he should not be able to see. No, I'm joking. He can see enough to avoid, but he can't see enough to shoot straight. Okay, um, no mod needed. Uh, and Biscuits taking a damage and a crit, so damage... Crit, a direct hit, so three damage and one shot. Excellent. This gets down to two health now. Um, let's see. And Sienna didn't have any shots, so back over to the twos. Gonna check Lucky's range first. No range. This guy's range. No range. So all the twos are shooting over here now. So this will be interesting. Okay. So I think we'll start with the Kylas at range one of Nips. So that three attack dice into three defense dice. So three attack focus, uh, one hit. So Saber lives to defend another day. He does, just barely. Okay. He wants to stay in that game. Okay, so then Sprinkles the bomber shooting Nips at range one with a target lock. So three dice with a target lock. Rerolling the blank, because you know if he's dead, he's dead. For three. Okay. So if Nips really wants to stay alive, he's gonna have to roll a lot <laughs> to stay alive. So yeah, just warming up my dice before this roll. Oh, two of eights. Is that cocked, though? It is. Ah, that's still a blank, though. So, Nips is destroyed. But, Nash Wind Rider is at range three. So, Nash will get to do a target lock. Um, let's see. Nash is going to target lock the Sprinkles guy. So Nash uses Disciplined, and Nips is destroyed. Well, I triggered my Discipline. <laughs> he was triggered, basically. Uh, I think Nash will take that range 3 shot at uh, Sprinkles, so that's going to be 3 offense to some amazing defense. I'm just checking my dice here. Okay, here we go. I am missing three dice. I'm pretty sure these three are mine. Okay. Alright. Um, crit, crit, and he'll save the target lock because that's just too good. Uh, one crit, two sprinkles, which is fuel leak. So if sprinkles takes more crits, he's going to be in a world of pain. So better not take more crits, right? 
and dice technical difficulties here right now, so bear with me. Okay, these are my dice. All right, cool. I have two separate dice, my dice and the AI's dice. And that is that round, so um, back to dials. Okay, we have uh, defensive, offensive, offensive, ionized, but defensive, and offensive way down there. So this is going to be a mess. He's ionized, so let's do him first. One forward focus, because ion maneuver, and your pilot can still figure out how to pull the trigger well. And that's lucky. Right, focus. He's at three hole. Oh, maybe I should have prioritized. Eh, like, I think I can still. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. This tie bomber is going to do a two bank. Going to get all the easy maneuvers out of the way first. Uh, I'm thinking he should have done a straight, probably. The idea was for him that he would probably be trying to get Sienna Re in the arc, so I thought that would work good, but apparently that didn't. Um, he can flip his crit, though, which I think he'll want to do, because, yeah. Yeah, I think you usually just want to flip crits, right? I don't know. You let me know. Okay. So then, uh... This mess right here, I think we'll start with, uh, let's see. Um, the Thai Punisher pilot who's doing it too hard. This is Thai Aggressor's dial though, but that's the same on the Punisher. It's still a white maneuver, yeah, so he's good. Um, too hard, whoop, nice, that does really good. Um, thinking he'd probably want to boost being an AI, but that doesn't do good for him, and I think, uh, eh, I think he would save the target lock, because he's going to have more maneuver options next round if he does, and um, doing this after the Tigressor's too hard. Uh, does not avoid the obstacle. So, it's white, so he does not remove his stress he got from the innovate earlier. And he rolls for the damage. Doesn't take it. Oh, there. Could use that number shipping. It's all good. Then one forward for this guy. He's got the uh, maneuvers planned. This one. Um, he could also flip over fuel leak, which I think is what he should do, because he could do barrel this way, but he's going to go over the obstacle, so he'll just flip over fuel leak, because that's the only good action he can do. I don't know if he has a shot. Three forward for Nash. Looks like it's bumping into the Thai Punisher. And it doesn't look like Nash is going to have a shot this round, no, but this aggressor will be shooting at him. The range two corner is like there, so unobstructed, but range two, it's obstructed like that. I mean, it's probably only going to be one hit with only two dice, right? So he could probably roll, roll on evade, that'll be fine. Okay, two forward. Didn't know if the Taiwan would be far enough away, which it wasn't, which is alright. Do some fancy interceptor maneuvering and do barrel roll to a boost, because the two blew hard next round after doing the barrel roll to the boost is just a good idea in general. So I'll do that very boost. Fancy interceptor flying, right? Stress, oh, he's right there, okay. I think he was nice. <laughs> right, and then too hard for Sienna. Um, here's the question. Do we go to the range one type armor that's at two hole? and risk that Thai Aggressor's Wrath. I think she'll just focus. It seems to be a solid action right now, especially. I mean, she could do a barrel roll to focus, which is better, actually. Yeah, focus to a barrel roll. If she kills that Thai Bomber, though, that'll be an extra stress. So I guess now I'm hoping she doesn't kill the Thai Bomber and just kind of grazes him down at one hole. Mm. 
Well, we're about to see the worst side of our ability. Okay, well, um, let's see. Sienna Ray is going to shoot range 2 at this time bomber. And that'll be at the dice. Alright, so Sienna Ray shot range 2 at the Biscuits bomber. Gonna be two hits. Uh, can't mod the blank because she doesn't have target lock or anything like that. And the bomber taking one damage, so alive by one. Nice. Alright. Then the Saber doesn't have a shot. Nash doesn't have a shot, but he wouldn't shoot first anyways because it's all these uh, twos ahead of him. So Glavy, range two. We'll roll first. <laughs> and then we'll see if I need to roll four defense dice. Uh, nothing, so we didn't even have that problem. All right. So then the last range two shot is going to be Lucky into Sienna Re over here. Definitely obstructed, and he's using Barrage Rockets, so. Just three attack dice into Sienna Re. And she has four beautiful defense dice because of the obstruction. So two hits, and Sienna rolling for rolling four. Um, spinning that focus, so barely avoiding a damage. Very nice. Alright. And that is end of round, so next round of maneuvers. Okay, so, um, AI's maneuvers are set. We have an offensive and a defensive, a defensive, a balanced, and a defensive. Uh, regardless though, these AI will be dropping their bombs. So, proton bomb from the, from this guy. And then a proton bomb that looks like an electro proton bomb from Biscuits. Alrighty. Okay. And then there are maneuvers. So starting with this guy, executing a three hard, grabbing a stress. Uh, looks seeing looking pretty good. Sprinkles doing three hard. Probably gonna do a target lock on Nash. The aggressor doing a two bank and then right into sprinkles, so that will be a bump. No action, but he does remove his stress. And he did not bump sprinkles onto the asteroid, which would have happened otherwise. That's why they got switched up. Okay, and then this tie aggressor making a two bank maneuver to the focus, I think. Yeah. And then this tie bomber flying away from the fight at a three hard. I think he'll try to do a reload if that's doable. Or reload his um, munition that he's probably gonna lose because he's gonna die. <laughs> his is best action, though, to be honest. I don't think the focus is gonna save him. Yeah, I mean, that would probably be better, but still. This is our game. No, I'm sure. Okay, three hard with Nash Windrider. Um, needing to avoid a bomb. <laughs> Uh, so boost. Uh, should maybe get out of range. I don't know. I can't really do a barrel roll either in this scenario, so kind of stuck. And I should have focused first because of this range here, but I mean, I think I was gonna. No, I'm sure. I think I should though. Anyways, probably. Yeah, I guess what I was going through with my head was I was gonna focus, but. Didn't exactly have the remembrance to focus first. Alright. Saber, too hard. And then he has choices. Pretty sure I can somehow arc dodge that aggressor, but I'm gonna need to be really close to the bomb. Um, or I could just barrel roll away from the bomb. The question is, what is more worth it? Uh, barrel, focus to a barrel roll for a range one shot. And then by then I'm blocking Sienna Ray. So let's probably get him way over that way. So range one, probably do a barrel roll. I'd probably avoid the bomb. So focus to a barrel roll. Um, 
And this is with Pew Pew. All my guys are damaged besides Sienna. My guys are either dead or damaged. <laughs> I mean, Pew Pew and Sienna are untouched, but Air Nash has got a damage, so. He doesn't really want to take a crit. And then Snap, Sienna is doing the 4 forward maneuver. Kind of forgot about a bomb possibility, right? <laughs> Um, let's see here. Barrel roll to a boost is the same as a boost to a barrel roll, but I think a barrel roll to a boost. Well, I, mean, I think they could be different, to be honest. So I think we might be out of range right there. But let's try to get just a bit more out. Oh, that might have avoided it. And uh, then she is stressed, so she just gets that stress back. Okay. She does not change. All right. Um, first bomb going off. This might hit Sienna. Barely doesn't. Ooh, that's close. Saber's also safe, and the scimitar is also safe. So this biscuits bomb is blank. Um, and this guy's bomb is also a blank. Kind of just forcing repositions right now. Okay, so then shots. Uh, Sienna doesn't have a shot, so it'll be the Saber to range two of Lucky. Um, and I believe then it'll be between the Bomber and Nash to, yep, to settle the differences. Okay. Yep, that's range three. Okay. Well then. Oh. The Punisher doesn't have a shot either. Okay. So between these two, and then between those two. Okay. Let's get to the dice. So the Saber is shooting at the Lucky with 3 attack. Um, I'm going to save that focus, so 2 hits into Lucky. Lucky, ooh, taking 2 damage, alright. If I had focused and Lucky still rolled the blanks, that would have been death, but who cares. Staying alive is more important, because Lucky is shooting back with 3 attack dice in that rocket. Lucky's pretty much out of charges. He's going to focus that, because he's at 1 hole, so you know, if he saves his focus, you know, it's not going to matter. And the Saber Pew Pew um, should have evaded or spent the focus earlier, so he takes a damage. That's okay. He still has two hole. Um, not terrible, but not really great either. It's then the range threes um, between the Bomber and Nash. The Bomber shooting first. No, wait, Bomber has this one, so he's not shooting at all. Um, so Nash then at range three of the Bomber. Uh, hit crit, and then the bomber is rolling three defense dice, taking the hit in the crit, and being destroyed. So he gets out of there. Nice. Starting to make casualties on this uh, enemy AI list for the first time in forever. forever. Alright, so maneuvers, uh, sprinkles, I'm gonna spin one of those proton bomb charges to uh, drop a bomb back here. I'll kind of just lock that on the sidebar for now. Nice. Okay. And then uh, the Punisher first, because that'll make, I think, things a little bit easier and clear. One bank. Um, I think it will focus. You know, that's a player, what a player would do, because that Interceptor might turn out to be in range. And this type Bomber is making a 3k turn. Maneuver. Uh, getting a stress, but that's okay. Because he knew what he was getting into the moment he hit that key turn. That's his lock card. And then a three hard for this guy. It was either that or four. This, the thing said he would probably try to do a 4k turn. But that was going to bump, so that's a no-go. So we'll do a three hard. Um, the only action you can do that would last for anything would be a target lock on a Nash. Okay, and then Sinar doing the epic one forward. Really close. Um... I think this Sinar would try for a target lock, because I think even the AI know when they're going to bump. Alright. 
Nashman Raider. I knew the bomb was gonna be there because, you know, AI drop bombs a lot. You kind of just learn eventually, you know what I mean? <laughs> Probably just focus to a boost. I think we can avoid that bomb radius if we go over here. That ended up being more accurate than I thought. Nice. Tokens are already placed where they are. <laughs> All right. And this Pew Pew, um, not too sure about him. Punisher does have him in dastardly range. Dastardly dangerous. Um. Honestly, I think focus to a boost. Try to get that range two. Probably is already range two, but I mean, I don't know for sure. And it's just better to double check. Maybe even get range one, right? He's probably pretty... Uh, he could stay alive. Eh, yeah, he actually will probably stay alive. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Sandria for three straight. I didn't know if a two hard was going to clear, so... I chickened out. And she'll do a boost, I think. As of yet to save the day. <laughs> okay, um... Tie Interceptor, Tie Interceptor, and Tie Interceptor. Dials I don't want to sort out. Um... Let's check for the range on the bomb. No one's in it, so it just goes off. Shatters some eardrums, and that's about it. All right, so starting with the Saber. He does have range one. Very nice. And then Nash, obviously, at range two. Might be obstructed, though. Uh, let's see here. Yes, that'll be obstructed, so... Two defense dice for the big ship. This bomber probably has a range 3 shot at Nash. Yeah, it looks like it just barely. Okay. And that also is obstructed, so that'll be 5 defense for Nash. So he should be able to avoid it. Um, so, yeah, should have target locked him a while ago for Nash. That's all right. To the dice. Okay, so the range 1 saber shot into the this guy. Um, that'll be hit crit. No, I think the saber should focus. It's, uh... Best case scenario, I guess. I mean, probably gonna die anyway, so. Might as well go out with a bang, taking that cutlass, or no, that this guy down to a lot. This guy rolling out of though, so that'll be a shield, a damage, and a critical. So, fuel leak. Uh, so, if Nash gets a crit, that'll help a lot. Cool, alright, so then the scimitar pilot at the range 3 shot of Nash. The two. For one, Nash with the agility, the range bonus, and the uh, obstruction for five. Barely getting one of eight. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. All right, then Cutlass at range one, just primary weapon into Saber. Rolling the one hit. Saber with the three defense. Oh, blanking out. So he takes the damage. But Pew Pew is still alive. Um. So best case scenario did work out, and Nash will now shoot back at range two with a crit crit and the cutlass rolling two. Well, this guy rolling two, and he spins the focus. So um, we got the cutlass down to four hole. Cool. Back to dials. Already all set up and good to go. Um, no bombs going to be dropped because he's out of bombs and he doesn't want to drop it out of the field. All right. So one bank. For this guy, um, I don't know why the AI choose weird, but okay, cool. So, I think he would probably reload a bomb. Oh, to repair fuel, like, ah, just reload, I think. Sounds like the best call. And then too hard. For the Sinar. And he already has a target lock on Nash, so he'll probably just focus. Lucky is focusing. Get some lucky dice rolls. And then sprinkles doing the two bank. Um definitely gonna be running into an obstacle next round, which I don't think the AI wants to do. So probably a barrel roll to target locking pew pew, because pew pew is pretty low. All the way back for the cautiousness. And the stress and the target lock on pew pew. Pew pew getting locked by basically everything. 
And then this Sinar doing a three hard. And then, hmm, should probably do a barrel roll, I think, yeah. And next round do a two or a three hard, probably. Yeah, middle position's best there. Okay. Um, two forward with Nash. Probably the guy the bomber should have target locked, but that's okay. Nash pursuing that. Tie Punisher until it dies. Saber doing a four forward. Well, pew pew saber. It's the pew pew saber. Yeah, I'm betting the bomber wished he did a target lock on the saber pew pew. Ooh, that is coming close to that debris field, but I think it just barely clears because it land on it. Um, I think PP will focus to a straight boost because he's gonna have like a range two or three shot on the aggressor right over here. Nice. Okay. Let's see, Anna Re, our healthiest tie interceptor, who's gonna absolutely carry the game, flying super close to an asteroid, but that is quite all right. For she is the ace pilot. Um, hmm. This isn't looking uh, too good here for Sienna. Nor for that other guy, to be honest. He's probably shaking a little bit. Um, let's see, if we barrel roll to a boost, I think we're still abstracted. Yeah. I think we're abstracted as we are right now. Now I have the advantage. I think I'll focus to a barrel roll, actually. Make things uh, interesting. Yeah, because then we're unobstructed, and I might actually be able to destroy her, because this might be three hits, one of A, two damage, three hits. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, though. We will see. Let me just say that 5,000 more times. Okay. Um, and yeah, shots. Uh, range two, range two. Three defense, two, two defense first, three defense second. And then uh, range two after this range two shot to him. And then range two into Sienna, of course, from the signer if he survives. So, to the dice tray. Starting with Sienna, rearrange two to Glady. Uh, for two hits, saving the focus for later. Glady, uh, taking two straight up damage. So Glady is down to two hole left. Then our saber at range two of Glavy with three. Um, one hit. Glavy getting the two of eight, so avoiding Saber's shot. And then Glavy shooting back at Sienna with nothing. <laughs> um, and then the bomber pilot into Nash, unobstructed for nothing. <laughs> A lot of misses today. And then Nash shooting at uh, this guy. I'm pretty sure that's uncocked. So two hits. This guy rolling one defense die. Gonna eat two damage. So this guy is down to two hole in his big old tie punisher. Which is uh, sweet. And next round's maneuvers. Okay, so uh, I'm going with uh, offensive, 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 and offensive. Um, that's all their attitudes. And he decided to drop a bomb, obviously. Okay, so his options were terrible and terrible -er, so he's doing the terrible option, which is actually really good 4k turn. Clearing without a hitch, and uh, he gets a stress for that. Nice, that was actually a really solid maneuver. Okay, um, I'm going to go with the tie aggressor over here. He's doing a too hard... And yeah, he's going to be blocking that tie Punisher. But he'll focus because he's probably going to take that range 3 shot. He's got one barrage rocket left. Hopefully he has enough juice to carry. Punisher 2 harding into the aggressor. Getting enough distance from the bomb though, so that's good. And then the tie Bomber. 
doing a one forward, kind of oblivious to the bomb, I guess. I don't know what I'm joking. <laughs> Focus. Probably should do that anyways, though, because he's, he's going to take a crit. For him, that's not as much as it is for the Interceptor. All right. The Interceptor doing a one hard... And, um, let me see here. I could, no, I might be able to do a barrel roll. Um, let's see. If we barrel roll this way, we do a boost. It's going to be range three, so our only hope is to barrel roll that way. And I will focus before doing that, because either way, that's going to be something. Ah, uh, dang, okay. Yep, so, focus for... A red focus action, basically, is what Nash gets. Oof. Um, he'll probably be taking that TIE Bomber out. He might be taking that TIE Bomber out with him. We'll see. And then uh, Pew Pew making his two hard maneuver. Um, the aggressor does kind of scare him because he's pretty low right now. Um, so focus to a boost. So... Too hard with Sienna. Um, she is at range one. That's not good. Uh, she'll focus to a barrel roll because she doesn't honestly need to do anything else because it's already going to be an obstructed shot to the type bomber over there. So, okay. Um, determining shots wise right now, Nash is uh. Basically dead. Uh, let's see. Let's see if there's any action going on over here. No, there isn't actually. Okay. So Sienna range three, and then they will range one, no, range two, and then range one. All right. But this bomb goes off first. The Simotar taking a damaged sensor array. So Sprinkles is damaged sensors now. And Nash Windrider taking a disabled power regulator. So he's going to become ionized. And I'll just do that for him now because, you know, why not? He's going to end up engaging anyways. And he's probably going to be dead. So that was a successful bomb for this guy. So let's go ahead and do our shots. So yeah, range two. And then three dice into oop, Nash Windrider. And then Nash is going to four dice the bomber so we probably could kill a bomber with nash and then sienna is stressed so she won't be able to use the target lock ability she will however remove the stress token because nash died and then she'll be able to acquire target lock because she just removed it and they have the same timing so on to the shooty shoot all right so first shot sienna through an obstacle at uh, range three of sprinkles she will spin the focus for three hits uh, i don't think anyone's going to be shooting at her so sprinkles rolling four defense um, I'd say it saves the focus, because it's really going to kill Nash with it, and Nash is already going to probably give him four hits, so. Just better if he, yeah, saves it. Alright, so then he's going to shoot Nash at range one. With three. Okay, and then he'll spin the focus for two. Nash rolling three defense, out rolling both of them. Very solid roll by Nash. And uh, let's see, range from the lucky spinning a charge for the barrage rocket to Nash. Spinning the focus, if Nash rolls eyeballs and evades, he'll live, but with one blink, he's dead. He, <laughs> he blinks out, all right. Um, so he's overkill dead. Um, so Sienna's at range three of Nash, so she removes the stress token and then uses her ability to acquire a target lock. Uh, the only person she can lock is the signer right behind her. And then Nash um, shoots back. He doesn't really get to chain his target lock because uh, he's stressed. So four dice into the into sprinkles. Uh, he's focusing for two, hopefully killing Sprinkles. Um, Sprinkles spinning the focus, taking one damage, and Sprinkles still blows up. So 
The net worth is that both of these guys die. And Sienna Ree has a target lock on him. So that was a cool round. All right, so maneuvers are locked and let's get executing. So this Ty Aggressor doing a 3 duty forward, trying to escape the radius. I think he could have done two and it would have been all right. Well, that's fine anyways. Um, his stress is gone. Let's see, would he, he'd probably do a barrel roll to an evade if he was a player. Because he doesn't know where that interceptor is going, he probably would try to block him. There we go. And then our other guys over here, starting with the aggressor, Lucky. He's doing a two bank. Which will fit. We'll eyeball it, because it's just us today. There we go. I think he would be more like there. There we go. And then he will focus. He's out of barrage rockets though, but he still has a two attack primary. Um, I know it could be at range one, so. Then uh, this guy doing it too hard. Getting into the range. I guess getting back into the fight. Um, and I think he'll uh, reload a proton bomb because it seems like the best action for him at this point. We don't know if he'll get any shots. All right, so going with Pew Pew, doing the epic too hard maneuver. Too hard for you. Um, huh, so stress is gone. We are at range one, which is both good and bad. PPU's at one health, the Sinar's at two. And yeah, Glaby's at two health. So this could either end really badly or really well. Um, hmm. So the question is, does a barrel roll to a boost work? Or is a boost here to a barrel roll work? Which I believe the answer to both of those is no. So we're just going to focus, but I want to see if the boost would have worked. Nah, wouldn't have. Okay. So, the barrel roll, would it have also worked either? So it's just going to be a focus for Pew Pew then. Which is already what I was going to decide. And then next up, Sienna Reed doing the three forward. Going to close in on one hole lucky or two hole this guy. So... Easy kills either way though, right? Um, she looks like she has a good shot on Lucky right over here. Only bad news is, is that he has a shot back. This guy can't even fire, doesn't even have an arc, so he's disarmed anyways though, so that's all right. Um, if she boosts forward, she's probably gonna hit to the Bree next round, and that's not too good. Three stress tokens, because if she destroys Lucky, she'll be stressed again, so. Focus to a boost will be stress. Destroying him will be a stress. Moving over to Bree next round will clear her stress if she does a blue, but then give her another stress back. So, not the best idea. So, I think she'll just focus, I think. I think she has the amount of dice she needs to kill him. Or hopefully, at least. This will be a very interesting round. All right, so let's do Sienna Ree's first shot. We have a range two on Lucky. Lucky is gonna shoot back at range two. And then over here we have a Sinar and a Pew Pew going at range one. So, Sienari and the Sinar and then Pew Pew. No, sorry. <laughs> so, Sienari range two's first shot, and then our second shot will be the Saber, and then we'll see if the aggressors can retaliate. Alright, so starting with Sienari shot at range two into Lucky. Um, she will spend that focus because that's going to be a guaranteed kill on Lucky, and then he won't be able to shoot back. Lucky. Um, getting, taking two damage and being removed. So, one, two, and then he is destroyed. And then his focus token's gone as well. Nice. And then she removes her focus and she gets a, let's see, there she is, okay. She spent her focus and she gets a stress for destroying someone. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so next up is the Saber at range one of the, the Glavy guy. Uh, let's see, range one, four dice. Uh, no mod necessary, and that is a guaranteed kill on the Sinar guy, who 
tries to stay alive. So sayonara damage, critical, direct hit, so it's three more damage, slightly overkill, and he's gone. Nice. All right, so that is the end of that round then. Uh, back to Dials. And maneuvers locked. Punisher doing the one bank. Seems to be the best option. Scenery has to pull off either direction to avoid the obstacle. You can just sit there and focus. Maybe kill her if um, she's going opposite direction or whatever. We'll see. Anyways, this saber is doing the two bank to a boost. Um, and then I don't think there's really anything else he can do. I mean, he could do a barrel roll this way, but I don't think there's really a reason to do that. Because next round I'll have more maneuver options. Might be actually range three. Right, we'll see. Anyways, Sienna Ray doing a two hard towards the fight. I'm gonna try to avoid this debris field and get a range one shot on that, this guy. That seems pretty solid. So um, I think she'll just focus. She get, if she gets three hits, uh, he's dead, so. And yeah, that'll be a range one. To the dice tray. All right, so Sienna Ria at range one into this guy. Um, hmm. He does have a fuel leak, so that will be a kill if she gets that one crit through, so. Focus for hit crit, and this guy rolling one defense die. Rolling an evade, so the critical is direct hit, so two damage straight up. One, two, triggers fuel leak, which is another damage, and then he has got, um, that is seven damage, so he is destroyed. And that is the game, Sierra Re Killing him, getting stressed, of course, but that's the end of the game, so it doesn't matter. So Pew Pew and Sienna Ree are our heroes of Wing 1, and this was a lot closer of a game than it was last time. Um, for sure, those silencers were not as big of a threat as these bombers and aggressors. They, I think they had me for the beginning game there. Those definitely towards uh, the bombers and the aggressors. Uh, but then I kind of was able to fight back. And CN re the game with full health, pew pew at one, and then all the other interceptors were dead. So, that is fun. Three casualties for five kills, am I right? <laughs> Alright, well, if you guys like to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments. Um, if you guys like to see any type of list playthroughs, let me know. I got about two or three more five tie interceptor list variants to fly before I'm going to start flying other stuff. Maybe some double tie defenders or first order aces, something like that, I guess. And we'll definitely be having different uh, opposing faction ships or different just lists in general from other factions. Let me know if there's a specific list you'd like the AI to fly um, in the comments as well. And if you'd like to see any more of X-Wing videos or other miniature game videos or even just video games or anything in general, just let me know. And may the force be with you and good luck.